Hey y'all, what's good beautiful people? It's your girl Tay. I'm here yet again with another update video. So definitely make sure you guys smash that like button, comment down below, subscribe, plus push your post notification bell button so that way anytime I upload a video you will be notified. So we're going to be talking about quite a few things today, but the main goal is just to simply update you guys and let you know what's going on at the White House, what our president is, um, what he's been up to. So the first thing I wanted to go over is I did a video recently, I believe it was Saturday, basically talking about how um, at that time there were two states that were canceling the boosted unemployment benefits, which is that extra $300 that you get per week. Um, there was some information that came out in one article that suggested that the uh, response to the new jobs that have been created to get people back out there and working um, has been minimal. People are not trying to work, and they think that the fact that they're receiving unemployment benefits is uh, uh, disincentivizing them to want to go back and actually start working. So Biden actually has something to say about this. So as of what we know right now, it says the U.S. added just 266,000 new jobs last month, well below uh, the 1 million forecast by Wall Street, okay? Then we have this statement. I think we have a long way to go to recover from the pandemic. There are many Americans still struggling. 8 million fewer jobs than were before the pandemic, okay? And this is from uh, someone who works with CBS. We are working very hard. In fact, we had a meeting with the president on Friday, um, and that was his direction to us, which is we are making bold moves, but there is a long way to go, and we have to be there to help the Americans find jobs, okay? Now, we know that they're working hard on trying to get vaccinations. The, uh, the rate of vaccinations accelerated. They're trying to achieve that herd immunity. Um, trillions in government and stimulus uh, they think are supposed to be easing the pandemic but you know there are states that are easing the restrictions as it as uh, believing that things are getting better I don't necessarily feel that that's the case I feel um, that they should value the information that's been given to them from the specialist doctors that are up there working close to people at the Capitol at Washington um, in the White House letting them know what's going on and from what I've seen from what I've heard um, usually there is a a long descent and then there is a huge spike so not saying that that's necessarily going to be the case but I have been watching um, closely and I have been seeing how certain states are actually surging in cases so you know we never know um, Romano also said, we have to remember that when the president moved to make this happen, this unemployment insurance has been a lifeline, a survival uh, lifeline for so many Americans, okay? And this is coming from someone who works with the Chamber of Commerce. This is the Chamber of Commerce secretary, okay? The number one reason now that people aren't going back to work is uh, fear. Fear if, if they can't find child care or schools are still closed. So we'll monitor it as necessary. But right now, we don't think that people... Uh, we don't think that because people aren't able to go back to work that it's because of the unemployment benefits. So I said that, too. I don't think that the reason why people are not going back to work has anything to do with the fact that they're receiving boosted unemployment benefits. I said that a lot of that comes from fear, fear of their own. Nobody wants to get sick. Um, the way that they're talking about how... Um, I can't say the name of it because YouTube doesn't like it, but we all know what it is, what it's called. The, the, the fact of the matter is, is that they're not speaking of it like as if it's something that you catch and it goes right away. This is something that could put you under for 14 days, maybe longer than that. So people are in fear. And the reality is, um, because I saw something in the comments where someone was saying that people are just being lazy and jobs are jobs. It's not about the jobs. If you if they're creating jobs, some jobs in which need some type of certified certification, some type of training document, and you don't have that then that's not a job that you can obtain, right? Um, another reason is child care. Like the Chamber of Commerce Secretary said, if you don't have child care, you don't have nobody to watch your children, then you can't go back to work. That's not a person being lazy. That's just what is. Everybody's not married. And some people were married, but unfortunately lost their spouse, either husband or wife, to the pandemic. I mean, that's the reality of what people are living with right now. People are really, really in survival mode and really, really trying to balance out their lives. There are women who, or men, um, who were living in a household, married, and maybe that spouse or that significant other was a breadwinner. Maybe the husband or wife was the one that was out there working. They had an arrangement where the, the, this spouse would stay home and take care of the children. If that person, if they lost that person to the pandemic, then now they have to figure out what to do. You know what I mean? There's a lot more than just simply get up and go back to work that they're not thinking about. And a lot of people are not thinking about when they're making those comments, okay? 
So I just wanted to put that out there because it's not always that people are being lazy. Now, that's not to say that some people are not being lazy because I definitely think that there's quite a few people out there who are seriously just being lazy, who are taking advantage of the benefits, but that's not everybody. And I said that in my last video. I don't think that a, a few bad apples should spoil it for the whole bunch, but that's usually how it goes, okay? Now, moving on for that, we know that the IRS will begin sending the first refunds this month in May. Um, according to this source, it says roughly 7.3 million people um, are expected to get a refund off of that $10,200 tax break for unemployment benefits that was claimed in the year 2020, $20,400 for uh, married couples, okay? Um, refunds will continue through the summer as the IRS processes tax returns. In addition um, to this unemployment tax break, the March stimulus bill also extends the weekly bonus of $300 uh, payments and authorizes the third stimulus check. So we already know this. So some of this stuff is not updated and some of it is, okay? We also know that we have that uh, $50 credit towards um, Internet $75 if you are living on some type of tribal lands and I think up to $100 towards a computer or tablet device that you plan on using specifically for children or homes where they don't have um, that type of those types of supplies available so that they can access the internet so that they can do their homework okay um, these are what this is what we know right now in terms of the uh, refund for the unemployment insurance. If the IRS determines the taxpayer is owed a refund, it will send a check automatically. There's nothing that you need to do. You do not need to uh, amend your taxes. Okay, the refunds are supposed to get sent out starting in May and extend into the summer. We've asked they've asked the IRS for a specific date um, for when the first payments will start to go out, but that information is not available as of right now. You do not need to file an amended return to claim the exemption. Um, so that's pretty much it. That's all the information that has been. I would suggest you guys just check your accounts, monitor that. If you guys have already received some of that money back, please let us know. You know what I mean? If you want to leave the amount, that's totally up to you. But I know for safety reasons and for security reasons, you may not want to do that, okay? But um, that's all the information on that. Now, the other thing that I wanted to give you guys, one more state has been added to the list of emergency max nap benefits for the month of May. I believe it was New Mexico, but I'm going to go over all of the names of the states that have currently been approved. Um, for emergency max snap benefits, but I'm going to turn my camera around so that you guys can see, okay? All right, here we go. Let me get myself up here so hopefully you guys can see me. Here we go, emergency snap max for the month of May. Let me see if I can refresh. All right, so here we go. Here are the names of the states that have currently been approved as of right now. For emergency SNAP max benefits for the month of May, and I'm also going to give you guys the payout dates. So for Alabama, we have May 29th, Arizona, May 1st to the 4th, uh, based off of the first initial of your last names, A through F, and then everyone else who don't fall into that category uh, will be given their benefits for uh, at the same time as their regular issuance, okay? Colorado, May 9th through the 19th, Florida, May 8th, and then staggered for households who receive their benefits after the 7th, Georgia, May 24th, 26th, 28th, and 30th, Hawaii, June 14th, Kentucky, May 2nd through the 19th, regular issuance, and also based off of the last number of your Social Security, new apps day after approval, Maryland, uh, all month long, Mississippi, May 2nd, uh, New Jersey, May 1st through the 5th, normal issuance dates, New Mexico, all month long, so all, New Mexico is all month long, North Dakota, May 22nd through the 31st, Oklahoma, May 10th through the 15th, um, Rhode Island, May 3rd, South Carolina, May 1st through the 19th, new apps will be done all month long, Vermont, June 11th, Virginia, May 16th, Washington, regular issuance dates, Wisconsin, May 22nd and July 10th, Wyoming, the first letter of last name uh, between May 2nd and May 5th, okay? So, really quickly for pandemic EBT, no, I don't, I don't, I didn't mean to do that, let's get out of here. Pandemic EBT should be on this page. Let me refresh this screen. Okay, so here are the names of the states that have currently been approved for a pandemic EBT. Um, 
yeah, that's pretty much it, you guys. So, as always, I hope this information was some way helpful and useful to you guys. I will see you guys in the next video. As you can see, somebody is definitely calling me, blowing me up, ruining my video right now. But on that note, I'm going to say remember to live, love, and elevate you guys. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Peace.